Welcome back to Romany's Realm. I'm Romany and it's the beginning of the month so it must be time for a pagan parcel. And it's the first week of July so it must be unboxing day. Pagan parcel, spell box coming right up right after this and do stay tuned to the end of the video because I've got some exciting news for you from Terry and Julie at Crafting Magic. So let's see what we've got in our box this month. This pagan parcel is an interim parcel so it's not a sabbat parcel. We had midsummer last time. As always we've got our little thing and there's a note on here Peg and Parcel has now been going for almost a year. For some, this will be your 12th box. If you signed up a little later on and missed the first boxes, you will now have the chance to catch up on some of the ones you missed out on. In this monthly box, we decided to do something a little different, some items for yourself and to help you relax, as well as a few information sheets on meditation, grounding and shielding. Well, that's nice. I'll have to check with Terry. I'm not sure if that means that the subscription pass box is going to start again from box one. If it is, that probably means I'll stop getting it because I have already unboxed all those. I don't know if that means that there's only 12 boxes and now you can start at number one again. I will double check on that with Terry. He did mention something similar to that and it, it didn't, tw didn't twig at the time. So it's our list. We've got a bath potion with a full, full list of things that are in it. Excellent. July's calendar. And let's get into the box. Ooh, got something big and heavy there. I'm not sure what that is. But we'll have a look. Ooh, tea bags. Calming chamomile. Allowed to brew for three to five minutes. Chamomile is a very relaxing herb. It's meant to be good for um, inducing sleep or particularly for those of us with anxiety. Personally, I'm not a big fan of chamomile. I don't like the smell. And because I don't like the smell, I therefore find it very difficult to stomach the taste of it. Uh, but what I have found is that chamomile is easily disguised in other tea. The yogi teas are very good. I've got the aniseed and licorice which is a very, very strong, overpowering taste. Brew up that as normal, add your honey if you want to, and then drop this in afterwards and, you know, just leave it for a few minutes and you'll get the chamomile infusion in your tea without so much of the taste. So if you're not a big chamomile fan, that's a, a way of drinking it and using its properties without actually having to deal with the taste of it. Although a lot of people like chamomile, so I'm more of a citrus girl myself. I prefer the Bergamo style teas. Earl Grey, don't you know? We've got a stone. This is a moss agate, which is a grounding stone. Let's see if we can find the card. There we go. Green moss agate for self acceptance. Grounds excessive spiritual energy, brings stability, courage, and feeling of settlement, enhances creativity. So it's a good stone for me. <laughs> I do tend to be a bit of a whirly gig, both spiritually and generally. I do have anxiety, not social anxiety, just general anxiety to do with my Asperger's. And obviously creative is always a good thing. So moss agate is a big thing with me. This is a really nice one, actually. It's got Moss agate is a strange stone. It's not quite translucent. So the lighter bit, you can kind of see through it, but you kind of can't. It's a very strange stone. It's fascinating to look at. It does literally look like a piece of moss that's been encased in resin. It's fascinating. I like it. I like moss agate. So that's a nice, nice one to put in it. Oh, it is a grounding box, isn't it? So... Incense sticks, meditation, vanilla, sandalwood and chamomile. Oh, that sounds nice. It's unusual, unusual to get a blended type incense. We usually get uh, very specific. We'd usually get the vanilla or the sandalwood or the chamomile. But this is a blend of all three. 
And I've not tried this Elements stuff before. Let's have a sniff. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. Do you know what? Add a little bit of patchouli and lavender and you've got the smell of every single new age shop I've ever walked into. <laughs> oh, yeah, I could see that being really nice to just relax to. Yes. Very nice. I like that one. I should be trying some of that later. What else have we got? Decadence bath potion. A blend of patchouli, jasmine and orange essential oils. Add two to three tablespoons of bath potion to a running bath. Ooh. Oh, that smells amazing. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, that smells really nice. So lovely. Now, I, I'm not a bath person. I have a thing about stagnant water, so having baths is not one of my favourite things to do. I'm a shower girl through and through. So if you're like me and you don't use bath potions, then here's a little thing that you can do. <laughs> Run some hot water into the sink and drop a couple of teaspoons of this into it while you have your shower, especially if you're having a relaxing shower. And you will get the same effect of the smell and aroma of the bath, but in a shower instead of a bath. Clever, eh? You can also obviously just pour yourself a little in a non-drinking cup. Uh, you, I use my little metal. A couple of months ago, we got a little metal funnel thing for incense cones. Uh, if you drop a couple of... Uh, a teaspoon or so of this into there and put hot water into it that will give a really nice aroma to the room as well so if you're having a meditate or whatever then you could use this as a almost like an incense um somehow i've managed to tip that out i don't know how i've managed that but it's it's all over my table now so let's stop moving it around and just put it there but it smells beautiful a slight interruption there because i've just had a message from terry about the rotation of the boxes. So after the next box, they'll be starting fresh from number one, but there will be some little changes along the way for those who have already had the boxes. The idea was and is people will have a range of altar items within their 12 boxes, as well as information on the turning of the wheel. Um, and obviously for each Sabat and each Esbat and everything else, there are a multitude of different things so you know we've had 12 13 14 crystals altogether i think obviously there's more than 14 crystals and there's more crystals that would associate with each so i assume they will change that up a little bit uh, and that will be the kind of thing that will be different you know different herbs different um, stones and so on right herbs what have we got lime blossoms linden flowers not familiar with these Used in love spells and mixtures and protection spells or incense. Mix equal parts linden and lavender flowers and place in a sachet under your pillowcase to relieve insomnia. Keep linden on a table to release the energies needed to keep the spirit alive and healthy. Oh, so a nice little altar herb if you're feeling a bit bleh. Mix it in with something, maybe add a little bit of something nice to it to use it as an incense or something. It doesn't really have a smell, it just kind of smells like plants. Interesting. I'll have to research those, I've not really used them. I do love it when I get something that I'm not familiar with. This is, ooh, white whorehound. The uh, answer to the common cold. <laughs> Whorehound is an indigenous herb to Britain. Uh, I think the Latin name is Merubium vulgare, if I'm correct. Yes, Merubium vulgare. It's um, very bitter. It tastes like ick. But it is the tonic for a common cold. 
when you've got all that catarrh and congestion and you just feel like, oh my goodness, somebody stick a teapot spout cleaner down my nasal passages and give them a good scrub for me. This is what you want to clean it all out. This will get rid of it. All that congestion and catarrh. Don't bother with, with Sinotab decongestant tablets. You want some of this. Some of this. A bit of a tonic. It's nasty stuff. It tastes vile. But the advantage is that when, if you've got a cold, you probably can't taste it anyway. It is toxic in high amounts though, so do be careful. Low doses are not toxic, but you couldn't take it long term. It's like arsenic. It stays in your body. And it's not recommended for anybody with a heart condition or pregnant. If you have cramps at certain times of the month because things don't get flowing as they should, this stuff, that will relieve it. It encourages flow. So obviously not something you use when you're pregnant. Sacred to Horus. Oh, no, that, didn't, that I didn't know. It smells nice. It smells kind of bitter but pleasant it's a protective herb helps with mental clarity during ritual stimulates creativity and inspiration balances personal energies excellent for use in home blessings placed near doorways to keep trouble away interesting so you've got your lime blossoms for keeping your spirit happy and healthy and this for stimulating mental clarity and creative energy. So an incense made with these two would be interesting. I wonder what it would smell like. Hmm. Yeah, I might have to try that later. That sounds right up my alley. Purple candles. Lovely. Well, lavender. Lavender candles. Lavender coloured candles. None of these candles smell. They're not scented candles. They're just for altar purposes, rituals and things. But this is one of the few colours we haven't had throughout the year. So this is rather cool. Actually, it's all very mauve, isn't it? It looks like the kind of box that ought to have lavender. But if you don't like lavender, and a lot of people don't, because it gives them migraines, like me, this is a good alternative to lavender. <laughs> it's a great range of, of herbs and oils. So we've got vanilla, sandalwood, chamomile, Patchouli, jasmine, orange, lime, linden flower, white whorehound, and obviously your moss agate for stability. So that makes a change. Normally you'd assume this would all be amethyst and lavender. And then we've got a ah, crystal necklace. Not a crystal necklace, a crystal necklace holder. So it's one of these little things. This is like the black one I have with my dragon's thing on it. So it's got a, a ribbon and it's got three cords. So it's very pretty. And then you have these, which are slightly stretchy. And what you do is, this is a little bit small, but you get a, a crystal and you pop it in through the bars. And there you have your crystal holder. It's best to have a crystal that's about the same height, um, perhaps a little bit higher, because otherwise if this gets caught on something and it pulls, your stone's going to fall out. So you want a slightly bigger stone than this. But this would do, actually. It's quite a, it's quite a long stone, even though it's not very big. So, yeah, I've put my amethyst in there. That's very nice, isn't it? Pretty. I like the um, little bits of ribbon. It just makes it a little bit different. We've had previous ones like this. We had a, a red one. I can't remember what was on the red one. And then I had a black one, which had a little vial of dragon's blood powder in it. And I do wear them quite regularly, especially my dragon's blood. I'm gonna leave this big thing till last. I can see from the top of the box what it is and I'm very excited because if it's what I think it is I'm going to love it. <laughs> so some grounding and meditation things. We've got a shielding technique and ah now 
in previous videos, I've I've said about the golden strand or the, the orb of energy, where you imagine an orb of energy filling you with energy or uh, a golden strand grounding you and binding you to the earth. This is the orb. So this is shielding technique, creating the orb to create a relaxed bubble around you, basically. So that's cool. A grounding exercise, how to be a tree. <laughs> oh, right, OK, this is the other one. <laughs> it's not done with a golden thread, but it's done with kind of roots coming up through the floor, through your feet, up through your hands to your... Yeah, basically pretending you're a tree. But it does have green f in, uh, colours for visualisation, green for the roots and gold for the branches. So it, it is like a, if you imagine the gold roots, the energy coming up through the earth into the tree, through the branches, it, it's very similar to the gold thread grounding exercise. Awesome. How to meditate, a simple meditation for beginners. Uh, this is, yeah, it's your, it's your very bra basic, close your eyes and try to think of nothing <laughs> and control your breathing. So if you're a yoga practitioner, this is your cool down exercise, basically. Nice and easy for beginners. Oh, magic oil recipes. Sounds interesting. So we've got altar oil for anointing your altar. Astral travel oil for anointing chakras, healing oil, protection oil for protection against all kinds of attacks, anoint windows, doors and uses protection for the house, anointing oil for general ritual and anointing purposes, energy oil useful when feeling run down or tired, Initiation oil for spiritual realm awareness and for initiation into the craft. And purification oil, add to bath water or wear to be rid of negativity. Interesting. That's very cool. And we've had some of these essential oils as well. Not all of them, but all the basic ones we've had in our boxes, like sandalwood and frankincense, myrrh. Excellent. And the ones that, by the looks of it, the ones that we haven't had as oils, we've had as herbs. There's only a couple on here that we haven't had. So in, if you don't have uh, all of the oils, what you can do is use your essential oils that you do have and then pop them in one of these um, bottles overnight. I have some here. I bought some the other day. Pop them into here overnight infuse them with energy of the moon or sun or whatever it is that you want to use if you want to as well and inside your oils drop in a pinch of your herbs uh, be generous you know don't like three leaves be generous with your herbs put them into your oil and you will infuse your oil with the herbs so at a pinch if you don't have one of the one of the oils you can you can use the, the herbs direct. Little tip for you there. So that's all our goodies. And look what I've got. A bone china mug. <laughs> I haven't read what it says. It's got writing on it. <sighs> Please let it say witch's brew. <laughs> I've been after a witch's brew mug for ages. If this says witch's brew, there might be squealing. Okay. A bone china mug. Let's have a look. Witch's brew! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Terry knows me so well. <laughs> so we have a mug. <laughs> Oh, I love it. A very generous size mug. Black mug. It says, authentic witch's brew, brewed in hell. <laughs> it's by Spirit of the Equinox. Dishwasher and microwave safe. That's good. And inside on your drinking thing, it's got two little broomsticks, crossed broomsticks. 
<laughs> oh, that's excellent. And it's on both sides as well for us lefties. Well, that's fantastic. <laughs> that's made my day, that has. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'm such a child. But honestly, witches brew, come on. And now, drum roll, an announcement. Terry and Julie are bringing out a new subscription box. It will be available very soon. He's hoping to have it out for next month. It is called Witches Essential Subscription Box. This box will contain a number of different bags of herbs, contents around 15 grams each, which I believe is this. I think these are around the same 15 grams. With an information sheet with a more in-depth look on the magical uses of each herb. A pack of spell candle, so similar to this. Also with information sheets as well as kits to enable you to make different items. Oh, making items. Witchcraft. I like it. Making different items such as lip balms, bath scrubs, hand creams, soaps, infused oils and so on. I've just talked to you about infused oils. There you go. Each month will be something different as well as a mix of essential oils and base oils. The kits will all have contents from any oils, jars, etc. needed in the kit. They will be priced at around $19.99 a month. So a little bit more expensive than the basic pagan parcel, but also more content, especially if it's got essential oils in. Essential oils are quite pricey. A bottle of essential oil, a good bottle of essential oil can run you 8 to 12 pounds for even the basic oils. So I think that's quite a good price for that. So the pagan parcels each month, I will check which ones are available and I will go through and link to my previous unboxing because it's basically the same with a few minor changes. And then we'll get this one and we'll be able to do some crafting. How awesome is that? Do some actual witchcraft. That could be entertaining because me and making lip balms and hand creams, can you imagine? I am just not dexterous at that kind of stuff at all. So that's very exciting in the next month or so. So keep an eye on the website, craftingmagic.co.uk. There's the link if you are interested in that. And if you are interested in that new box, The Witch's Essentials, put a comment down below and let us know. And also let us know if you are in the UK or if you're international, because that will give Terry just a little bit of an idea of, you know, what the interest might be. It might be that most of the interest is UK or it might be that a lot of people are taking advantage of the very weak pound at the moment and signing up for subscriptions from, for instance, the US or Australia. So do let us know down below if you are interested in that which is essential box that's coming up. And as always, thank you for watching. I will be back in a few moments with this month's Spellbox unboxing. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.